first at the buffet. What? Oh, seriously? Oh, yeah, I know it sucks, but that's what it says. So that's what we gotta go by. Thank you. I appreciate it, Morty. I know you were sucking the Kool-Aid out of the Vindicator's dick, so that's why popular people are f***ing dumb and why your pretentious, poorly written high-budget friends back there can eat a double-decker shit sandwich. We're gonna be a great team, like Moses and his buddy who like to collect seashells. Boo-boo today! Welcome to the Moses hey. and the Rig Show. That's what's up. I'm Pickle Rick! Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Boo Boo Judy! Welcome to the Moses and the Rig Show. Moses Heaps, fuck you, old man. And there's Rick. And she's a bitch. What I'm saying, you know what I mean? I mean, this girl's great together. She's like, I don't know how uh, that girl ever said you laid a hand on her. I said, thank you. Ooh, that's square. Boo Boo Judy. Welcome to the Moses and the Rick Show. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Moses and the Rick Show. How's everybody doing tonight? Hope you all are ready for one hour of fun and laughs and giggles and stuff. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're getting. That's what you're getting. How's everybody doing tonight? Why don't you do some shout outs there, Moes? Uh, I guess uh, there's Patrick Stevens. He's in the house. He says, what's up to me? Not you. Bronco 22. Right. <laughs> Many of the Moocha. Donald's in the house. Little Jeffrey. Paps. Montauk. Gray Wolf. Cheap Pounder. Hard Hopscotch. There's three free Mots. Hmm. Three free Mots. Dean Fulford. Ford for Life. Gray Wolf again. Haley O'Neill. Little Me's in the house. That's Little Me number one. Chad. Hey, we got the number one. What do you know about that? I think I saw Alaska's in here. Jeff Bice in the house. Randy Tippett, Cindy Williams. Here we go. Mike Johnson, Harsh Realism. Oh, I had a streak. Little staff with numbers in the house. Dean Fulford again. Dean Fulford. Old Hag's in the house. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately, Venomous Silverback is not. Hag just took him out. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. No more growing bigger, oh, yeah. stronger now. Not with the knife in your back. Here's Timothy <laughs> Muncy. Dirk's uh, cabinet door. There's a, there's a, there's a cock right there on the screen, right underneath me. There is a cock right underneath of you. <laughs> there it is. There's Polly's Hayrod. <laughs> McKinley <laughs> Compton. Uh, yeah, there's a little family a token died. liability member. Do you know who that is? That's got to be that the got to be the crazy purple. She's on her way out the door. <laughs> the little you leave that lady alone. Leave that Red dog in the house. <laughs> Kay, I'm here. She's here. So am I. <laughs> oh, y'all don't even know. Y'all don't. Oh, even look know. who's in the back. Look who's in the back. There is a spokesman. I see him back there in the back with his big ass glasses and his notebook. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Go ahead, jump out, jump out. There's Glenn. I uh, see there's three or four places took back there. It must be for the big fat hooker. It yeah. must be, must be. <laughs> yep, they're in the back. Oh, they're mad. They're mad. They're big mad. They're kicking people out. They're banning people for life. They're doing all kinds of crazy shit over there. I'll tell you what. I don't watch them anymore because they're not entertaining, but it's cool to like hear the little snippets 
of what's going on with them. Like they're, uh, let's see, they're mad at Sly because Sly and Dana for talking about Johnny. And uh, I guess, I don't know. It's also crazy. I don't know why things can't, uh, uh, I don't know why things can't just be as simple as they are with Durkey. You know, like there's a lot of moving parts that go with all that gene team bullshit. You know, people getting kicked out and there's rules and all this shit and everything. And Durkey, it's just, Durkey's just Durkey. You know, he just, he's yeah. expecting a baby with his mama. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. he's pulling guns and brandishing firearms. He's, uh, uh, he's just, he's simple. He's simple minded and he's simple to follow. You know, yeah. it's not a bunch of moving parts, you know, but Donald yeah. said, God, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's crazy. How do you put yeah. someone on probation on YouTube asking for, for exactly like, uh, first of all, it's YouTube, but secondly, like, it, it, I guess it really is a team over there. I guess it's, you know, I mean, they've got a couple of bitches that look like linebackers, so maybe it really is a a team but you know i mean i don't know maybe it, there's also you know there's like all kinds of teams going on around youtube you know there's the gene team there's oh, yeah. uh creek squad's a team oh yeah uh, you know you can talk all you want to about them they went over top of us again they're over there at uh they're over there at waves you can say whatever you want to oh okay oh okay okay, okay. if you want to say you know that ryan up church is a little cow himself then go right ahead <laughs> He is. He's a musical locale. Uh, yes. But you know, hey, that's what, because I am team uh, Moses and Rick, or as we call it in the back streets, Heaps Hag Sanchez. I'm a yeah. Heaps Hag Sanchez team. So I guess, you know, it's all a team effort, uh, but it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy shit. But we got a video of um, Square. Oh. Yeah, we got a video of Square. Well, first of all, before we even do all that, there's right. another team on um, on YouTube that mm -hmm. kind of picks our interest from here from time to time, and uh, that would be the the Paceville Prowlers, the uh, the <laughs> boys. <laughs> oh yeah, the boys from uh, uh, Southern Kentucky, the 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 toothless wonders, if if you will, and uh, they've started their own uh, Paceville podcast. Yeah, and of course, they should have called it. He's not even in Paintsville. They should have called it blind and blind and toothless. <laughs> toothless and ruthless. But they um they're a good team, I guess, you know, Shane and yeah. Ice. And uh, you know, there was we did a video Sunday and it was just some snippets from their podcast. And there was somebody in the podcast chat, and we got a clip of it, that uh was saying that. Uh, Shane called Gene a rat. Is that right? Am I saying that? I'm telling that story correctly. Somebody in the chat said Shane called Ice a rat. I'm sorry, not Gene. Oh, no. ice oh yeah, called Iceman a rat. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Shane was like, oh, ho, ho, you're very funny. I never said that. I've never talked bad about Iceman. Yeah. He denied it all the way. Yeah, he did. Well, listen they're to both, this. They're both yeah. rats. They're both yeah. rats. You get two blind rats together. That's what you get. <laughs> like three blind mice, two blind rats. Yeah. Well, here you go. You, we, we got this. We got this. Yeah. Yeah. And here, you want me to tell you how I know? How? Well, look here. Before you even mention anything about that fucking message, right? Uh huh. All uh, right. And this is between me and you. Yeah, absolutely. I promise. Uh, uh, he repeated that on when he was on the phone with me. Uh -huh. He said something about, you know, those exact words. Wow. He didn't say a name, right? Yeah. But exactly as you said in that text. Yeah. Like he was like he was writing the text while he was on the phone with you. Could have been. Yeah. Well, and you know, Shane, I really, I'm, I'm not scared of him. I'm not scared of him, and I'm not scared of what, you know, he threatens and everything. So just yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he that never. Was while, uh, Ice Man was in jail at this point. Yeah. You know, he was throwing him under the bus. He's like, I ain't got to worry about it. You know, he'll be in there for a good yeah. six months. They'll forget about me. You know. Mm -hmm. 
saying, oh, I know he was going to send you that uh, that text, you know, by sewing your eyes shut. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. But he made a point to reach out and tell you that he knew the shit was true. Yeah. So, yeah, that wasn't like that wasn't I didn't jump on a panel with Shane or anything like that. Uh, Shane actually messaged me after I posted the screenshot of the threat Iceman had made on my life. And uh, Shane reached out to me. He said, can you call me? And I finally got a hold of him. And, of course, uh, I recorded it because that's what you're supposed to do when you talk to people on the phone. Uh, that you're... Uh, Especially about death threats. Right, about death threats <laughs> is you record it. So I did. And um, anyway, yeah, so he did. He did say those things about Iceman. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know how tight the Paintsville podcast team is, but, you know, there's that. <laughs> Iceman, will, Iceman will take anything he can get right now. I mean... Yeah, he's going yeah. over on Shane's. Hell, he's even buddying up to Paula. He's going up on that panel, which it's crazy yeah. to see him on the panel with some of these people, you know. But uh, yeah, but I mean, yeah. if he'll have him, you know, he'll he'll definitely leech on there. There was uh, you said, you know, they got two blind rats over there. There was three, but they snitched him out. He went to jail. Yeah, yep, he did. They snitched out the third member of the podcast. He'll be he'll rename, uh, remain anonymous. <laughs> Because okay. he's because he's working with the feds. Yeah, yeah, because I can I get it. But you know, <laughs> if you get Ice Fan on a uh, on a podcast or on a panel or anything like that, he tends to lose his act right. You know, so he's been doing it over at the Paintsville <laughs> oh, podcast. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, you know, he does a bunch of woo woo and you know, just like Ric Flair sounds and and then he gets to talking real fast. You can tell his teeth aren't in. He eats that microphone all the time. And then. Oh, if yeah. You, yeah. If you even so much as mention anything uh, sexual. Oh, he didn't, yeah, it's you can tell Roberta. Yeah. You can tell Roadhead didn't do anything. He jumps right up on that. Not that tongue. Not that daddy. That daddy. <laughs> I tell you what was crazy. He was over there on that April's panel, and uh, she's like, "What is that? What is that heavy breathing all about?" Yeah, yeah. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably bird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't know. Yeah, it was probably bird. She probably heard. Her. Well, we you, you clipped a little bit of that just so we could show how. Uh, a little opinion, yeah. appreciate that. A little opinion has dished out ten memberships. Thank you, People little opinion. Grab them up. Uh, catch you one if you ain't got one yet. Uh, let's uh, let's watch this little clip we did. Uh, it's like you said. So April was what she was reviewing birds porn. Yeah, right? she was reviewing birds porn, which Iceman sat there for her at least a half hour to pull it up. You know, he couldn't wait. I mean, God, yeah. he was hoping. You know, he was. He's seen them all, you know, he's got them saved and, you know, yeah. he can pull them up on demand, but he couldn't wait to, to you know, talk about it. He had Andrea on panel and April on panel. I mean, this is the closest thing he's got to sex in a long time. <laughs> all right, here we go. While she's getting pumped in the ass by the other black dude, getting pumped yeah! in that big ass. Mm, Pop mm, that poop hole! Mm, Pop that mm, poop mm, hole! Mm, oh, oh, mm, mm, yeah! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> I love this shit! I love this shit! <laughs> Touch on that cat daddy! <laughs> Touch on that cat daddy! That's exactly... Oh. I mean, damn. <laughs> you changed the name to Rat Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is wrong what? with that man? I mean, that's uh, his <laughs> mom's probably sitting right there beside him, too. I know. It's the thing. She probably is. She probably just got home from bingo and yeah. she walks in and he's sitting there with that eating that that microphone is half he's deep throat that microphone and uh Amy, watching him april hit the mic that what the fuck i looked at that clip and i thought jesus christ and i didn't know whether to like enjoy the fact they were talking about 
bird hashtag cucumber birds <laughs> or to just be like oh my god what are these fucking oh my god it was crazy it was crazy pap said it right jerking it with his own poop that's right jerking it with his own poop. That's right. oh he was humping the side of the couch and sh- i bet he was i bet he was yeah yeah oh, pump that poop pole pump that poop pole poppy <laughs> just gross it's like he doesn't i don't know it's like he doesn't care to to keep making shit jokes either like he just keeps talking about <laughs> shit every time they bring it up it's like it, he he can't let it he can't just let it slide like he has to talk no. about it talk about it <laughs> he has to talk about poop all the time which yeah. just all that does is just add um add to the fact that yes he played with poop for a long time yeah. He was very. Uh, there's nothing you can't. There's nothing anybody can say at this point to dispute that he <laughs> likes poop. He's a poop lover. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, it this is crazy. what this. This is. I mean, it's just going to get worse. You know, it's yeah. uh, it's Valentine's Day season. Yeah. I mean, it's it's this week. It's a week away. It's uh, when is yeah. it? When is next Wednesday? Uh huh. I mean, I've got a few things planned, you know, for the Valentine's Day here, but uh, nothing like nothing like these locales got planned. Oh yeah. I mean, they, uh-huh. they've got they've got their own products. No, uh, they don't. The, well, how many? Do you know, they have? it's like it's like it's Valentine's Day, right? Uh huh. And you know how in Christmas you get the Christmas section. Yeah. Uh, Halloween, you get the Halloween section. Yeah. You know, but then when Valentine's Day comes around, you get the pink section with the candy and the balloons and stuff. Yeah, yeah. The locales got their own for just for Valentine's Day section. If you look around Walmart, they've got their how own ma- seasonal products. How many products do they got? <laughs> they've got ten. I can't wait. I, I didn't have the lightning. I didn't have the lightning pulled up, so I had to talk around it. Oh, there they had to talk around it. Okay. Yeah. I thought that's what you were doing. I was trying to find it. <laughs> it's not in oh, alphabetical so- order. It's under cowbell slow and above <laughs> Tyler Cat Talk. <laughs> <It's-> <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine the what weird your things phone in this phone. Like. I tell you, hey, I'm telling when you've you. only got one, it, it gets full of some crazy stuff. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Polly's Hayride donated five gifts to the membership. Thank Turn you. your memberships on. Gather them up. Yep. Thank you, Polly. Hashtag Polly, Polly. cucumber verse. That's right. Hashtag cucumber verse. No doubt. There's, but next time you're at a Hallmark, ask them for the low cow seasonal Valentine's Day products. You'll find these okay. things like number 10. Mm-hmm. A good drink of cordial cherry mead. <laughs> some cordial you know, cherries, so some water, know. and some yeast, and let that shit sit in a milk jug for like three weeks. <laughs> mm. Delicious tubes. That's what's up. <laughs> Not the tubes. <laughs> Number nine. Uh-huh. Heart shaped oh. notebooks. <laughs> Seeper. Oh man, let me tell you. Uh, she is a special kind of stupid bitch. This she's got a pair on squares panel. She goes, I want to know why do you people think there is people living in tents on my property? <laughs> we have people who live on our property. And yes, some of them are intense. <laughs> but who started that lie? Seeper. <laughs> like, she oh just confirmed God. it. She just confirmed she did, it. She did. Her she own did. stupid way. And she don't I realize tell you what. She thinks she's making a point. I've got a new one. <laughs> Listen, I got my own a new one. I'll have to talk to you about it before we talk about it. But these true crime nuts that have like invaded this community, oh her and Sly, and all the other ones that are, oh, you know, started Lord. out as true. Oh my God. They're a special kind of something. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Making said, big money and big money watching those court you cases. You sounded just like her, though. You just sounded just like her. I want to know. 
<laughs> oh, we'll get to the bottom of this butter bean. <laughs> the butter bean. It's not over yet, darling. <laughs> darling. <laughs> God, I'd like to just smack the taste out of her mouth. Just I mean, as soon as Filthy gets done using that lead pipe. <laughs> Seasonal Valentine's Day product number eight. Ashtray scented candles. Right. Right. <laughs> Ashtray scented candles. Right. <laughs> Mom. Mom. What kind of candles you want? The smudge smokes. <laughs> fuck you talking about, son? This is about fucking me. Get the fuck out of here, fucking. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> they're fighting they're fighting over number eight it could be I mean it could be anybody's yeah, it could be anybody <laughs> how about number seven fire and ice countertop lube <laughs> shoot Come shoot on. shoot shoot ha <laughs> <laughs> ha just spinning his gay ass around on that countertop like a <laughs> like a top, just spinning. Zoom, zoom. He's doing like the electric boogaloo thing where they just they put their hand down and <laughs> they just go. <laughs> I love this shit. I get dizzy. I said, get dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded like <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh now here's a seasonal valentine's day product that square's going to pick up for sure number six <laughs> cbd suppositories for dogs <laughs> mm. <laughs> brownie will love it yeah, Square <laughs> will love it even more. Yes, he will. <laughs> yes, he will. Yes, he will. <laughs> yeah, just turn that cane into a ramrod. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that to my dog anymore. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh folks in the house, gifted five memberships. Everybody's getting a membership. You get a membership. <laughs> Turn your memberships on. You get a membership. That's right. That's right, y'all. Thank you, old folks. Thank oh, you, yeah. all of y'all. <laughs> Valentine's Day product here, number five. Girl friendly head shop laptop covers. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess for hitting your girlfriend in the head with a laptop. <laughs> It'll soften the blow on Valentine's Day. It will. It will. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, my God. <laughs> this is sad. In case you don't know what I mean, Dirk, he likes to hit girls over the head with his laptop. <laughs> <laughs> he was acquitted of all charges, though. But since he was acquitted of all charges... That means he gets three shots on Cali or Skanka. Next time he sees them, he's beating the piss out of them because you can't get him for double jeopardy. Yeah, he's done been found not guilty. You know, he's done been acquitted of those charges. Double jeopardy, people. Read it. <laughs> That'll burn their ass when I'm beating the piss out of them again. <laughs> <laughs> how about uh, how about number four? <laughs> Biscuits and balloon bouquet. Oh, we've got a picture of that one. Hold on. Who is it for? Let's see here. Uh, where did I put that picture? This one right here. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 what a minute in the face. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I might have the wrong picture. Let me see here real quick. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. She's going to eat them biscuits. <laughs> it's not. 
fucking biscuit, you asshole. It's a it's not about the fucking biscuit, you asshole. It's about the fucking treatment from other people. <laughs> Oh, this one is my all-time favorite sound. If you don't know, travel back with me here. A square was on the bus, and uh, somebody cracked him in the head, or maybe it was at school. Either way, he run his mouth, and somebody threw a biscuit and busted it over his head. <laughs> <laughs> that memory stuck with him forever, <laughs> as well it has us. <laughs> And he told us all about it. He gets mad when he's brought up. What about the biscuits? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> all right. Let's see here. Uh, we're here at... Bird's going to love those biscuits, huh? Yeah, she will. Yeah, she will. Even if they hit him. <laughs> she'll even take yeah. those ones. Yeah. Uh, doesn't matter if they fall on the side, my guy. <laughs> Don't forget the size, my guy. I'm some gravy with my balloons. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some more Valentine's Day product square might like number three. Adivan flavored condoms. <laughs> oh my god. I can see that. I can definitely see that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at least he's at least he's being safe with his <laughs> transmission friends. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. This is a good more one. seasonal Valentine's Day products. <laughs> Valentine's Day spinner bait. Oh, that sounds like that might work out pretty good. Oh, I've got a picture of that too. Hold on. Here we go. Look here. Here we go. It's like a spinner bait. What's wrong with that? I've done tied the fucking. I've tied my floater on to it, dude. It ain't gonna. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's my sister's fucking Valentine's Day bracelet, dude. I had to fucking get on my fucking pole. Hey, here. What the hell did I give her for Valentine's Day, dude? I put it on her fucking wrist. I'm like, look here. It's got the floater tied to it. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I should have knew something was up when that fish said be mine. <laughs> oh, oh god damn it. Johnny's still around here. I need to ride home after this is over. <laughs> right, you won't get my car now, she said. Got everybody take another picture of my fucking house. <laughs> I think a mailman can't fucking walk because of you, son. (laughs) 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 Number one Valentine's Day seasonal low-cal product, though, has to be a goat fucking stool for spokesmen. So you can get that leverage, you know. Yeah. Here we go. I had a number one on this top ten was sexual shit. <laughs> Make a note of all my spy shit. And to talk about sexual shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got to work two of his little things in on that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most this was top two commitment. Low cal seasonal Valentine's Day products. I didn't know that one was gonna be as fun as it was because the other ones I'm really looking forward to. So <laughs> <laughs> well speaking yeah, of you that never, you never can tell what'll happen when you got Shane and Johnny in the same one, you know, they're two men they're fighting. Hey, Nevada. Hey, Nevada, yeah, Nevada, Nevada tried to throw his fucking weight around, try to take Johnny's fucking thunder. That ain't gonna happen. Uh uh-uh, uh uh-uh. Not on this show, it won't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, speaking of all the, of the, those locales over there, we caught Square live the other day. And uh, you got some clips. What, 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 set us yeah. up for this. <laughs> There's a couple. Uh, one of them was like one of those late night, half asleep. He's crying in it. He was crying in it. And I think the only people in chat was me and uh, there was Mombot. Uh, mom bot 
<laughs> I just made a deal with Mombot to meet me over by the cigarette machine when he's throwing, <laughs> he booted us out of there. <laughs> Mom, <what? laughs> so we got him crying, and uh, then uh, he basically he's talking about. He's not really wanted anymore around here. And he talks a little bit about uh, often, you know, oh, doing the unalive and unalive and stuff and in tears and like, I don't well, know what we're doing. So, of course, I hit the record button, you know, just in case. Yeah, because so. yeah, he's doing that stupid DVR thing where you can't yeah. uh, rewind the stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I guess. Like most locales, they think that that keeps people from screen recording them. And actually, all it does is it means that people get more of their content recorded. Yeah. So, like, you know. Instead of, re instead of recording little spots, there's recording the whole damn thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, more stuff gets caught, idiots. But, uh, all right. Well, here, here's the video. No one's going to come up here and defend me during this shit, like my team or nothing. Then... I, I'm going to withdraw. I'm going to have to withdraw. She put me in a song. I made some memes about her. That, that That's it, you know. But, you know, some memes, you know, huh? that's where they, that's where we got to draw the line is, is some memes, you know. They're affecting my mental health. And nobody c comes up here or goes on to April's or anything and defends it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of books fucking saying the shit he says to, to embarrass somebody in front of people and not, you know, that's why I can't be friends with him no more. You know, that's fine. I, I knew I was going to have to end up leaving for good. There's been talk of me using young porn. There's no, I mean, you've got porn and then you have stuff that's not porn that is referred to as CP, like the kind that Triple T threatened to have put on my computer one time, you know, which really isn't the definition of the P word because young porn consenting, you know. So that's just, you know, this is the internet. But it won't take them long to come here taking videos and or something where I accidentally, uh, he bombed myself. That's me making up an excuse, y'all. I'm lying. I'm making up it. So, you see how that works? I was just on a woman's panel last night, though, y'all. A woman that none of y'all even here know. It's somebody I met from Miss Jules. It was refreshing for once. It's so nice that, you know, <laughs> you would not believe. Gene team, we're going to have to talk. Like, I, I've asked for people to have a private meeting because, like, there, there's more than just that that's concerning, you know. And I've been sitting here doing my best to not bring any of this stuff up on live. Maybe I'm just going to have to finally go, just, I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to have to shut my channel down, you know. It looked there for a second like maybe I'd be doing something but I don't I don't think so but it won't take them long to come I would get them off I know I would I didn't like how one or two in particular got to to do me and like it's just normal I guess I'm not saying that uh, I'm giving up support or anything or wanting to quit Per se, but I gotta retire from being active in uh, content making. It's just the facts. The thing is, I'm not protected on here. I don't feel like I am. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I want to just, uh, I don't even want to say it. Like, if I had became a writer and done some crap like, you know, like something like Hunter S. Thompson lived his life always partying and doing stuff like that like i mean i don't know it might have been fun but that it just wasn't over me i got made fun of because i was the type that you know didn't care to drink you know i was a stiff square that's where i got that name from hunter s thompson was a legend 
he was in chronic pain, had had two hip surgeries and everything else, and uh, he called his family down to the farm to hang out, and uh, he knew that he was going to kill himself the next day. He gave some personal items to his son, Juan. He did a book on the Hells Angels. That was funny. He confronted one Hells Angel one night for uh, beating his wife. I'm about to get off here. And I just wanted to say what my plans are so people knew. I also don't want to cause other people to be uh, targeted for me. They won't be like that. They won't be like that. No. And if folks have done that, that's, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. You tell me the page or wherever it's on. Here, I'll fucking make you a damn mod for a second. You, you can drop a link. At least I still have my one friend. Spokesman, don't, don't delete, dude. Now, if, if there's a video of such, I want to see it. And if there is, you should just be honest with me and tell me. It's not about the fucking biscuit, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> you called him p -jard. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that poor woman, she was just in there trying to show him the video, you know, letting him know that he put out the little retarded hit on him. Yeah. And uh, immediately he come out freaking out. Like, I could just see him, like, you know, trying to put his big-ass glasses on his face, you know, so he could see his little cell phone, you know, his little Fisher Price, and he's on there, and he's like, Square, no, no, square to troll, and don't look at no video that was old. I don't think put out one hit. I only put out one hit. Block her, block, 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 block. <laughs> you just see, he was freaking out, and sure enough, Mombot, there's Mombot. Yeah, Mombot it's went down the same time that that poor Robin lady went down. Oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. Howdy, friends and uh -huh. neighbors. Let's get naked. I've got condos. I bet Mom got a pocket full of wubbers. Mom got a pocket full of wubbers. <laughs> yeah. Touch on that cat, daddy. <laughs> you got to stop. They had to quit showing up in the studio without any warning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mustard squirrel. So somebody sent me a... That uh, told me that he was on um, on Johnny Max panel earlier with uh, uh, who's the guy that used to be part of or not part of We Push Back, but like he he was like friends with Rustin and all them. Is it Chicago Muscle? Yeah. Is that the guy that like pretends to be a, um, a yeah? Biker? Was he? <laughs> yeah. Was he on he panel, was, was he on panel with him? Yes. No. Yes. And Johnny Mac and all of them. And he was telling me, yeah, it was crazy. What the fuck? Was he yeah, on panel I didn't, with I fucking... I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Somebody sent me a message and said that... Um, God uh, like damn. A screenshot of it. And I think it was... That's a guy. I, yeah. I have to find it, but... Uh, Somebody it in the chat confirmed that. It was cold. Okay, okay, okay. Cold. That's different. Yeah. I, knew, I was like, no cold way. Cold. Chicago muscles. No. No. Uh, code of the streets. Sorry, my bad. Code of the streets. Okay. I knew I was going to say it wrong. Okay, that's different. Code of the streets. He yeah. he coaches T ball. He's a good guy. He, I don't know if he's got kids <laughs> that play with T ball, but he hangs out at T ball <laughs> parks, anyways. He's cool. <laughs> and that Johnny Max right up Squares Alley. I mean, he went straight to that guy's house and whipped his ass in the parking lot, like right there in the driveway. Yeah. Lester's Curl so, says he was in the back back street stage. It, this apparently happened just a little bit, a little while ago. So we'll have to get to look at that. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I said Chicago. I didn't mean Chicago muscle. My bad, y'all. Yeah. See, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. You don't want uh, to rattle that dude's cage. He's a fucking, he's a biker. He's a fucking one percenter. No, no. He's, he's all fake. <laughs> they fake everything. Seymour called <laughs> he's a calls code load on the sheets. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pabs yeah. calls him code of the priest. Yeah, yeah, so I guess this is yeah. It's not too good for code. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But that's who. Uh, yeah, there was somebody I can't remember. <laughs> I'll have to look at the screenshot. I have to pull the screenshot up. 
And yeah, I'll have to watch that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, Just when uh, I when I think I'm out, they pull me back in. <laughs> Mombot said Johnny Mac is a regular customer of mine. He's got an extremely small penis. Oh wow. Okay. Oh wow. So that's what Johnny <laughs> Mac. I'm telling you, it's uh, we talked about it Sunday night on the members about <laughs> how. Oh, and I'm sure Filthy's going to touch on it on a Filthy Fridays, but uh, yeah. man, man, the community that has started to invade now and is friends with Square is, <laughs> yeah. oh, I'll tell you. It's going to be you. interesting for old Square, yeah. I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah. My God. Yeah, because uh, they all kind of like, they're all very intense, aren't they? And Square yeah. is Square is going to here's my here's my prediction. Square's gonna eat it up at first and he's gonna think, oh wow, I've got these people who are willing to sue people and take people to court and everything, and they're on my side. And then when these people start saying, Okay, well, we need to know why did they say this to you? And Square explains to him, Well, I did pretend <laughs> uh I did act like I was raping Andrea. And tell it, I told what I would do if I did that. And I did dox people's children. And I did say that I was going to gang bang somebody's pregnant daughter. But that's just, that's all I did. You know, I mean, and I think yeah. it's going to get really bad for Square. I think he's going to really flip out. And, then, <laughs> and now he's feeling like he's feeling big in his britches because like Gene Team put him on probation, but now he's got the hive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, he's going to start a fucking gang war. what he's going to start. It's going to be a gang war started over his ass now. <laughs> he's going to wish. He's going to look back and wish to the day that he was getting dildos and happy meals. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The first time that he accidentally drops somebody's IG messages <laughs> and when he shares his screen, it's going to be a wrap. It's going to be a wrap. <laughs> oh, Square is out of Gene Team officially now, huh? Well, he's a member of the Hive. Oh, it's yeah. It's that's what he was saying in that in that recording we just listened to. You know, he had to yeah. rethink everything. He, if he's not yeah. protected over there, they didn't send protection to April G. You know, I mean, he's out. Yeah. So my thing but, is uh, this: if he when get he Johnny on... Mac to protect him, he can get Johnny Mac to sit out in the parking lot and just jump set when he gets out. Of the van or whatever, you know? <laughs> Listen, when he was on the Gene team, he used the word bruh a lot. And he would always talk about his homies. And he'd talk like this a whole lot. And hey, brother. And hey, hey, my dog. And uh, look at ass and this and that. I wonder if now that he's a part of the hive, if he's going to be talking like this, man. Yeah. He's going to have a, this kind of accent now. You know, he's he's going to buy him crazy. a tracksuit. He's going <laughs> to buy a tracksuit for sure. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be great. <laughs> Minnie the Moocher said, it's not just a team, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's and we are great. live, my paisans. <laughs> 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 oh, Grampy and shit by the time it's all over with. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. They love the fact that he speaks sideways, you know, like hearsay yeah. and per se and so called. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, his mom about said, Yep, he's going to start talking like that and eating ravioli once a day. Yep, he's going to yeah. go from the, the uh, Tyson chicken to some ravioli immediately. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Goodbye, Yamaka. Hello, leather coat. <laughs> you said he's going to buy a track. <laughs> he's, definitely oh getting, he's definitely getting some more weapons, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. He's going to get a, a shiv and everything. Oh, it's going to be great. I'll yeah, tell you I what didn't else know that he was great. on panel with him. My God. I know. I'll have to find it. somebody. You'll have to watch uh, that. Yeah, somebody sent me a screenshot. I'll have to find it and send it to you. I want to thank uh, Timothy Muncie, uh, Mr. Donald, um, 
somebody else and hey ride for the cash apps thank you all appreciate you all very much um you know i do know one thing about valentine's day do you remember back when you were a kid and you uh you would get those little candies in the box oh yeah uh, the little like the chalk chalk candy yeah yeah. And they always had little words because I was helping my granddaughter put together her Valentine's for her Valentine's Day party earlier tonight. And I was just thinking back to like back when uh, we were kids. That was what you gave people. He's gonna... yeah. <laughs> 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 That's gonna be so I couldn't let that slide by. That's great. That was great. <laughs> But, um, you know, you'd always go through that box of candy and you would find the messages that you thought were cool. I just always, they don't, I don't even know if they make them anymore. We tried finding them for, for her Valentine's. Oh yeah. Her. Yeah. You yeah. can get them. You can get them. <laughs> uh, you can get them to say just about anything you want if you pay for them. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? I didn't, I think, uh, who was it? I think Shane sent me a box for the locale. You didn't get any of the locale ones. No, I didn't. How many different ones are there? I think you get a deal if you get 10 of them. <laughs> Top 10 commandments. Three little words locals say to set the mood. That's right. You know, right. why well, say the words when you can put them on little candies that are chalky That's and you right. don't really eat? That's right. You just read the messages. These don't say who these are from. We'll have, we'll have to, to figure, figure it out. out. Number 10. Mama's new chig. <laughs> That's gotta be. That's, that's gotta. That's be probably. Dirty. That's probably dirty. I would think so. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. Damn. Oh, she's pregnant with her grandchild. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. Grandchild should be there any day. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. Hopefully, you don't have one of those. Donald was talking about, you know. Dirk, you've been messing around with his cousins. He's like, imagine oh, yeah. the, the kid come out with a hand behind its head and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We're going to hell. Oh, that was a good lie. That was a good lie. I caught that one. <laughs> yeah. There was another piece of candy that was in there, number nine. <laughs> Patty, then Merle. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that means. I don't know what it means. I bet it means. Uh, I don't know what it means, but yeah. I don't know. Patty, then Merle. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. You I tell me what it means, son. You know what it fucking means. <laughs> yeah. I damn, you stupid son. <laughs> I fucking miss Patty. <laughs> and if there's any owl, owl left, then I go back to fucking Merle. <laughs> Son. Son. I right, knew you were still around here, Johnny. You said that was right. number nine, so let's see. So this this is number eight. Uh-huh. Hi, you're roofied. <laughs> yeah. He's probably got he probably got the whole ten pack of those. He's got a, he's got a lot of those. I bet he did. I bet he drops them in drinks everywhere. Everywhere he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being on a date with him and taking a drink and then opening up your Valentine candy and hi, you're repeat. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's what see, this one's this one's pretty easy. Uh-huh. Be my BBC. <laughs> yeah, she shouldn't have gave she shouldn't have gave those to her to the no. fat bastard. No, she shouldn't have. Oh, God. Imagine your mom gives you a piece of candy like that. I bet she, oh, maybe it meant big baby. Big baby. <laughs> big baby kisses. She just don't know how to spell. I hope that's what it meant if she gave them to him. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> they should got a refund on number six. This one on the thing spelled right. Let's see here. Wide me, Roberta. <laughs> I don't wide me with butter. <laughs> don't fabricate it for a bunch of fabricated shit, mommy. You ain't see this, mommy. <laughs> you know 
couch. She was sitting right next to him while he was uh, doing that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> pounder poopo. Pounder poopo. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, God. Bless. Hey now, hey now, what's going on here? <laughs> Don't worry about it, mommy. That's right. Wipe me with butter. I'm mm -hmm. pocket full of wubbers. So I think this is number five. Uh, Bend over brownie. Oh, there's three little words. That'll yeah. set the mood. That sure will. That sure That'll will. set the mood. I got some of these CBD brownies, you know. Ow, ow. <laughs> you did that. Ow, ow. Real too. Uh, How about, is this number four? Uh-huh. Yeah. Spill my butter truck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll turn her on. Oh, God. Uh, God, just uh, somebody, uh, I think it was uh, Link, was uh, watching some of my old videos and comments the other day about the shit show that was going on when he oh, when he did that. that uh, Spill my buttermilk truck all over the place. God. Yeah. You know, he said that to his mom and his son. He was yeah. talking about that. Yeah, he sure did. Crazy. Mm -hmm. This is number three. What the fuck? Catfish my love. <laughs> Wait a minute, look here, dude. Catfish what? What the fuck is that one? Wait a minute, let me get closer here. God damn it. God damn it, that's a fucking pencil eraser. Look here, look here, dude. I thought it was fucking candy. I thought there was some bitch off awful fucking chewy this year. Look here. Catfish my love. No wonder my fucking pencils when I'm racing. God damn it! So, it's uncanny how you sound like him, and it just coming in there, number three in there, Johnny. <laughs> this name, and I look at him. <laughs> oh, this is disgusting! This is disgusting. Number two. Let's cross swords. <laughs> <laughs> Get you. <ya. laughs> uh, you know that Gene and Jess cross swords. They're having oh a sword God, fight right now. Especially after I saw the video of Jut with uh, long blonde hair. Yeah, yeah. But they cross swords more than once. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. He was it's acting like he was white. Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. You know it turned Gene on. Absolutely. Absolutely it did. A white, a white, a uh, black guy, like a white girl. He, yeah, uh, he yeah. certainly did. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Gross. Gross. Cross swords. Yeah. This has been the three little, like three little words that turn, turn on the low cows. Uh -huh. Number one. PK is not hump ghost. PK is not hump ghost. <laughs> it's sexual. I've got more sexual shit. Another number one. Another number one about PJ. <laughs> oh my god. Call me Petard. He called me a he called me a Petard. <laughs> Moses is Tom Tinkerman was three little words locale say to set the mood. He called you a peach heart. He did. Oh, he did. He called you a peach heart so bad. Um, well, we got <laughs> we've got a, um, a, a, a dirt dab you want to oh, prepare. Yeah. Uh, set yeah, us listen, up for that cat daddy. Uh, he's been in jail and here he comes marching out. He set it up so that when it come on, he's Marching out of his room like dun da da dun da da dun da da dun. I'm back out of jail with no charges. And uh, uh, he marches up there to the camera like he's a hero and sits down and tells you like it is and never like it was and always how it will be. All right, here we go. Yeah, what's up, <laughs> Oh, now that's the intro of an outlaw year. Can't keep a good man down.
Who the fuck go to the Yeah. Uh, go to jail for trespassing. Dirty. Because I've pissed y'all so much. If a Mustang don't run, guess what? I just jacked it up. I, I took it for a ride. <laughs> now, you might have jacked it up out of the mud, but you are not driving that thing anywhere. My God, look at it. It's falling apart. But I got the hood done. The hood's good now. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, the hood's good. I mean, that rotisserie sander really made the difference on that one, you can tell. The tires I have on there are bald, but on the inside, they got grip on them. I hate it when those tires get bald on the outside, but grip on the inside. I've not actually been inside my car in six months, and that motherfucker's spotless still. Just overlook the burn holes and the shit stains and the rat droppings and the Christmas ornaments over there, and there's some exposed wires. Not a big deal. I'm car hard certified by God. I've just been dealing with a bunch of electronic stuff. So, everything's good. But the way I'm putting my system in, I bought my system to scream real high like, I'm back in black, because I'm back in. The motherfucker knows when I'm coming up behind one. Oh, they'll know it's you behind them when they smell the electrical fire or when they see all the cops chasing you because you don't have a license. But yeah, the whole concept it is is the rebuild is mine. You mean, you mean, you mean, to tell hand the keys and say, Junior, drive this. And he says, Dad, there's a family of possums living in the glove box. I sparked one up as soon as I walked out of jail. I'm like, ah. I couldn't hear my weed. I was gagging. I was like, they're like, you're medicinal, ain't you? I was like, mother listen here, first of all. It ain't like I'm sitting up in that bitch blowing a blunt all day long, you know? My weed's so strong, I don't realize how strong it is until I get out and smoke it again. And it's like you feel like you're 15 again. Yeah, these boys was talking about how it was a come up to go to jail. They pay you to go to jail. They give you a prescription to go to jail. You gotta put me in a misdemeanor pod because it was a misdemeanor stupid ass charge. I woke up and had two the next day I didn't even know about, man. They had to drop them. And I had to go down and pick up almost 90% of my bond money because I was supposed to got out on a PR the next day. Here soon I'll be posting my new YouTube channel up where I do a, we do a lot of competition shooting. Two companies that sponsor me, Guns.com, they sponsor me. So head on over and let them know that Dirty White Castle's proud to be working for Guns.com. I love it because of the merchandise that they let me promote on my channel. The things that they send, you know. Guns.com already sent him free stuff to show on his channel. I bet that's what he was charged for was brandishing merch. The guys on the, that sponsor me, there's like four of them. They're trying to trade me Glocks. You know what I mean? One dude offered me... Uh, 1400 bucks worth of the day. I was like, no, man. Maybe you should have took the money and paid Mama Bo back. You know, it took her like five days to round up 100 bucks. But it wasn't the police's problem this time, man. You know what I mean? 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 That cop stopped and got, bought me a pack of Marlboro Reds and everything, bro. I was like, dude, I quit smoking like that. You know what I mean? It's like, for real, bro. I was like, yeah, man. You know, I stayed in the police car with him for three hours and. With no handcuffs on, high, three high-speed chases, poured over four other people. It was funny as f I didn't go to <laughs> around the jail until their shift was off. I rode around with him talking to him, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? He just couldn't believe it because he was one of the cops that was actually uh, actually my autograph before. Oh, man, he's so lucky he got picked up by that cop that's a super fan. He asked for his autograph. He let him play with his gun one time, too. Like, uh... Where are you at? You know what I mean? Like, I'm sitting in my house. I was like, I'll be sitting right here waiting for you. I'll be sitting right here in ye old meth camper, you know, where my brother was shooting out the windows at y'all. You'll remember. He said, you called me up, told me right where you'd be, and you was right there. And I was like, yeah, man, I got business about. He's like, uh, them dumbasses down there where you turn around, I'm going to trespass him. <laughs> like, are you? So basically, Durkee went down, waved his gun around the guy, said, I'm going to shoot you, and ran back home to his mommy's trailer and hid. Never stepped out of the vehicle, never swung a fucking punch, never shot a bullet, nothing. It was just, it was just you running your mouth and waving a gun, and that's against the law. Oh, yeah, when I go through the door, everybody knew me, man. It was like, Durkee, is that you, man? Is that you? I was like, yeah, man. You know he pulled out that jailhouse sign language and told him that superstar Heinrich was on the block. You motherfuckers getting on my nerves, man. Picking up my brain, what little bits are left of it. He said, what little bits left of it. He said, they went on three high-speed chases.
pulled four other people over with him in the car. It was just, it was just a ride along. Basically it was just a, yeah. a ride along. He didn't even wear handcuffs, you know, God, he's so fucking the fact, the fact that not only does he come up with that story, but he is thinks that his chat is stupid enough to believe any of it just blows my mind. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's I mean, just, to hear him tell it, you know, three high speed chases in Boone County. I bet they hadn't had three high speed chases in Boone County in three years. Yeah. But they had them yeah, in like, it, you know, the two hours that he was in the cop car. Yeah. Yeah. And it can't be, it can't be a two hour drive from the meth camper to the Boone County jail. So, uh, no. oh God, he's just, oh, just the lies. And then to say he was sponsored by guns.com. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks that people are going to send him free stuff. Yeah. Brandishing merch, you said. That's yeah. what his charge was. Uh, God, he's just uh, it just it just blows my mind. You know, people in my comments are like, uh, he should give a name, you know, with that cop. I bet they want he did. He gave a name with the cop too. Yeah. He's and I'm just not putting it out there. It's not in my damn video, but yeah, he's put the name it. It's in one of my videos. <laughs> but uh not this one. <laughs> Richard Patterson said he's reliving Dukes, Dukes of Hazard episodes. He really is. Uh, he's, he's so stupid got out of jail and uh yeah yeah they just they called him up they said hey dirt uh can you mind if we come talk to you for a little bit because that's how cops do especially those small yeah. county hey dirt you got a minute can we you know can we cut can we cut it up for a little bit sure just meet me out by the tracks and you was right there. That's what he said. Yeah. So fucking stupid. I Just, wonder if it was the cop that visits him in, in the um, living room there. I wonder if that's who was. Definitely. There. Definitely. Uh, yeah. I mean, he always put a name on the guy, too. You know, but he's the same cop. Same one that asks for his autograph. Same one that comes there and talks to him in the living room. His wife is a, a prosecuting attorney, he said. And, uh, God. His number one fan and multiple autographs from him, and said he just wishes he could come and shoot his gun with him. Come in at one time, and just gave him his guns here. Check this out, Dirk, and just threw his gun to him. You know, yeah. Like, oh, this is the cop that told Mama Bo, "Hey, stand up, turn around there. You're fine." Yeah, yeah that's yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. And it's he just, thinks, like you said, he thinks everybody, everybody believes him. Yeah. It's, uh, and then, it, it, of course, not only do the cops love him, but the prisoners love him because most of the time, prisoners love people that cops love. You know, it's tend, yeah. they, they tend to all have the same, like, peer group, you know, it's just, <laughs> God, yeah. you know? Uh, it's just crazy. And knowing that the cops nor the prisoners liked him, but you said, <laughs> what did you say? You know, he went in there, did that, uh, gang sign language. What did you say? Um, I, superstar Heinrich. Yeah. He, he said he had all those nicknames and that's the gang, you know, the, the <laughs> sign language and he's in there good yeah. with the Aryans and yeah, but, but he didn't want to go to the same jail as, uh, as, uh, Billy was in apparently. He went to a different yeah. jail. Yeah. I don't think he really had much choice. But he said the cops asked him, you know, which jail you want to go to, bud. Well, we're <laughs> gonna ride around for a little while and you know, Durkey helped him catch some fugitives. It was great. <laughs> Monica B said, Nice job on your videos, Moses. Thank says, you, Monica. Yeah. It's uh no, Corliss. As a matter of fact, he does not know how to spell his name. No. He spells his name. How does he spell his name? There I've got I've got two clips. So you figure I've got him on video doing it twice. He does it all the time. You know, yep. he said it's the D E K to the R I E. That's why you'll see Deckery white running around here. He, he spelled <laughs> yeah. it that way more yep. than once. D E K R I E. D E K R I E. Uh, hold on one second. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah. He's famous everywhere he goes. He said, you people wouldn't understand, you know, he goes, he can't even go into a, a store without people asking him for his autograph. Pictures all the time, having to pose for pictures, people knocking on his door. He's so, I don't know. 
the fact that he believes is the best part about it. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, that's the thing, is the fact that he thinks people believe him. And the fact that, like, when there's people in there that are obvious trolls saying, like, uh, like egging him on and stuff, and the fact that he believes that they believe it. That's the whole, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Know your shit, people. That's right, Sue Williams. Know your shit. One of the first things he did when he got out of jail was uh, send me a message, you know, saying... You're done for now, motherfucker. That's exactly what I needed. The fire under me. Two yeah. of us going down. Get ready to be served, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> yep, because he probably sat right in there and, and uh, talked to the cops about you and everything. God, he's just oh, so... Yeah. Uh, it's just too much. It's just too much. You know, he's he honestly thinks that the people in his... Uh, uh, chats are as uh, retarded as uh, PJ, honestly. And oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, poor, poor, poor little Peej. Uh, you know, he needs love too, and I'm sure he has to do something for Valentine's Day. Yeah, he's got to do goats. That's what he's going to do for Valentine's Day. At least Durkey gets, you know, he, he can get Humans. him a cat. He can catfish a human off the internet, you know. <laughs> Poor PJ's got to settle for Glenn and a goat, but yeah. you still have fun with Glenn and a goat. They've got some Valentine's Day plans lined up, I bet. Oh, I wonder I wonder how many they've got, though. <laughs> Amid Dirk Dab Top 10, Spokesman's Valentine's Day plans. That's right. That's right. What? I thought I was watching Sasquatch. I was watching Sasquatch. I gotta get my notebook out here. I gotta become a spa shit. <laughs> Orange crayon ready. <laughs> Got the back of a beer box I'm gonna write out here ready. <laughs> He's got plans for Valentine's Day, like number 10. <laughs> Animal Planet and Chill. <laughs> Puckers likes Puckers likes to watch the Big Cat Diaries. <laughs> I fuck them all, but I fuck Puckers. I fuck Puckers the most. <laughs> was you know so why they be Puckers? It was it? Because <laughs> it's butt pucker. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> you guessed. Uh, <laughs> oh, here's something he's for sure going to do. Number nine. Hold he's going to call in Sly. Get on that spy shit. Sly gets on her spy shit too. She's got a notebook. She eats red crayons. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a bit, what? 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 Can you hear me? Hello? <laughs> I said, Spokesman, what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? He said, No bite. I'm going to use my bungee cord strap from my glasses and strap my honky kong onto my head. And we'll see how things go from there. Uncle Phil, he bought me a honky kong to fuck a ball with. I've just been fucking Uncle Gwen with it. <laughs> I'll need my bungee cord back for my glasses, though. Why? Wow, what do you need it for? Because they're so big, I have to strap my glasses on. <laughs> right, son. It's like a big-ass glasses make you look fucking like weird, son. Right. Freak me out, them big motherfuckers. God. Everybody knows you stupid fucking glasses on your fucking head like that. <laughs> Get out of here, Uncle Uncle Dag Birdie. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Dag Birdie. Oh my God. <laughs> Uncle Dag Birdie's on thin ice with the team team. <laughs> PJ's calling the shots now on the team team. So. Yeah. 
I thought this was weird on his list of Valentine's Day plans. Number seven, he had wrote down. I'm going to pick through Uncle Glenn's hair for bugs. <laughs> Have you seen that dude's hair? Oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> His I mean, hair hasn't was... seen a brush or shampoo in months. I know it hasn't. No, it's all matted together. And yeah. It's hard to tell what's in there. <laughs> God, can you imagine? Oh, this is this goat shit and uh, duck Shit and fucking smoke and hey, my shit, and my shit. I shit a little box. <laughs> oh. PJ's a litter box. <laughs> Uncle Glenn cleans it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh no, it looks like there's some trouble going on here with number six. What's he gonna do on Valentine's Day? I'm gonna call a hate time crime shoot it. I'm Sasquatch for hurting Uncle Squarehead. He went and he hurt Uncle Squarehead. He didn't take him happy, Bill. He took him a ass beating. I said, Square, calm down. You just got your ass beat by one legged man. I gotta go. If I would have been there, I would have used my super strength. <laughs> I'm strong, I'm strong like Incredible Hulk <laughs> What else you got planned? Let's see here, number five I'm going to steal some fireball And light a goat's ass up <laughs> Oh, you sick little fucker. You little sick fucker. Why would you do that? He shoplifts those little fireballs like from yeah. gas stations, you know, because they're like they're like malt liquors or something. Yeah. Uh, is, uh, is this, they, oh no, it's they taste happening. like candy. They taste like candy. <laughs> I saw no, oh, yeah, we somebody in chat may be in trouble with this one. What's that? I figured I'd I figured I'd tell him now instead of on the back streets. Number four. <laughs> I put a hit out a little on Fufu. He made a video on me. <laughs> I put a hit. I'm calling Uncle Embry. Yeah. <laughs> What's your cap size? What's your cap size, Fufu? <laughs> I love up church. Being up church have a lot in common. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes. My cap size is ten and a half. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Fuck. Fuck them all. <laughs> Just randomly say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next thing on his list? Uh, let's see here, number three. What's he doing? <laughs> I'm gonna pickpocket Uncle Glenn to completion. <laughs> to completion. <laughs> he likes that. <laughs> mm. Mm. something he's going to do. This looks weird. Number two. <laughs> going to cash up a bird $20 to say sexual shit over the phone. All night. I put on speaker phone and me and Puckers will turn the lights off. But I remember, don't you didn't like when you got the arm flaps left, so right, folks, hard. Right, PJ. No, that was not that. I did not like that. It made my face what? stink. It made my face <laughs> stink. It was not enjoyable for my birthday. I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about it. <laughs> made my face stink. It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> oh, okay. The main thing that I want to do here on Valentine's Day is number one. 
I have to cash up on Bird. I'm going to cash up Uncle Squarehead. $20 to say sexual shit over the phone to me. And he does. He does better than Aunt Bird. Don't tell her. That's why he was number one. Oh, my God. Well, come on. Was- I was number one on all the top kids. He got his own. PJ. Team. PJ and my super strength took the top ten. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to I'm taking away with smokes with that that same way. <laughs> super strength. That's what <laughs> That's one of my favorite things that you've projected onto me is the super street <laughs> and that he likes the orange crayon because it tastes the best. <laughs> it tastes like sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> sunshine. Oh, all right. Well, I gotta catch my breath. Let's uh <laughs> Let's finish up this um uh, uh <laughs> Oh yeah, part two. He's still going off, still still off in his own little land. <laughs> we we ended with him saying, fuck with his brain, what's left of it. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh you my god, my stomach hurts. And we also have been doing some reviews on some bazooka speaker tubes and shit, you know what I mean? From the company Bazooka. I wrote MTX and see if they want to send some of their products in, you know. Listen up guys, I've got an offer here from a pillhead down in West Virginia who sent me this letter, wrote in crayon, said he just dug his car up out of the mud and he wants us to send him some speakers and he'll do a review on his YouTube channel, which doesn't exist. I'm all about a twenty gauge kill my first deer with one, I killed two bears. Kill my first bear with him. One slug, you know what I mean? I'm a jack all trades, man. That's the concept I went with. You know what I'm saying? Because when we're trained to shoot, like, when we're out shooting competition, we'll shoot pop, 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 with our AR safety down. You gotta be clipping at the same time. You have to make sure that it's all, you know what I mean? Weapon ready. When I say weapon ready, you wanna make sure your tush, your tush, your tush, everything is ready. Bam, bam, bam. You don't need no CCW to pack your weapon in the state of West Virginia. We are a castle constitutional law. He may not be a white, but he is a castle. Look it up. Hey, here's my permit. Boom, boom. Bam, bam, bam. Yes, say when. See what I mean? Bam, bam, bam. Everybody make it out okay. Everybody all right. I think he got them all. If you see me holding my weapon, you best believe I can own it. The state law mandates. Why you think I can smoke marijuana with a card? And the last thing I'll ever let them do is take this weapon right here from my cold dead fingers. Let's go, brownies. Let's go. Weed is legal up in that bitch, too. See what I'm saying? Still a fan come for a talk shit. Bam. Shot him for free. I can tell you now my client has learned his lesson in jail. I can pack my gun. You know you can pack your gun on bond, on anything, until you're convicted of a charge. A felony charge that takes it away from you. I don't think trespassing is a goddamn felony. Like that trooper said, he said, Durkey, I know you got your clock. I mean, he said, I ain't worried about none of that. I took it off my side, laid it down like that right there. He said, I have to detain you. I have a warrant. I went. And he cried like a bitch and sung like a canary all the way to jail. If I did that crime, convict me of it. No way six peers that I get to pick is going to convict me of trespassing. He told me, he said, Dirk, and said, next time I'm man, I'm up through here. He said, I work over Charleston area, man. He said, I'd love to go shoot with you and shit sometimes. How many times do you hear a cop say he'd love to go shoot with you sometimes? You must have done some top notch snitching, and let me tell you, you're going to end up winning rat of the year. Watches your videos on my fucking YouTube and shit. I love your long range shooting. I love your, you know what I mean? That's the number one thing you kept quoting me on, my long range shooting. You know what I mean? Oh, wow, that cop's even got access to the channel that don't exist. It's like my favorite one is when your little boy's uh, 14 years old and his first shot at six, 
600 yards. He said he crumbled that shit. I was like, yeah. Should have told that imaginary cop that your son was going to whip his ass, too. My wife's a prosecuting attorney, and she's probably one of your biggest fans I've ever met in my own life. Wow, what a great story. Didn't happen. Every one of those cops sat down there was straight legit with me. But they told me the ones that fucking wasn't. They sat there and ate them up behind their head, you know what I mean? They said it's only people like us on the outs that could fall charges on cops like that. Well, that was cool of them to tell you which cops were the dirty cops. At one point, he said, I thought I was going to have to fucking uh, arm you and have you help us make a citizen arrest there. At one point, he said, you was the only one seen where that mother took off running over the side of the hill. And then all the cops run this way, and I'm sitting there going, beat my head off the fucking side of the thing going. Uh, he's like, uh, what jail you want to go to? I said, take me to South Central, motherfucker. Oh, so you didn't want to go to the same jail that Billy was in? Oh, that's right. They didn't want you to go to the jail that Billy was in. I was like, but I tell you what, you're the only one I'm i I'll, I'll call, sir. You might work on me dad or grandpa or some shit. I'll knock you the fuck straight out. You know what I mean? He's like, man, you ought to be a correction officer. You ain't got no felonies, nothing like that. The only people I'd work for was called IA Man Internal Affairs. Every one of them bent over and cough, and then put me in fucking quarantine or dry cell. It don't matter. Everything is ready. Here's my permit. Boom, boom. Bam, bam, bam. Everything is ready. This might, this might be the best day you've ever done. The editing. The boom, bam, boom, bam. The little me sit up here. It's like an old Batman movie. When he did that thing, you got to be ready. Boom, bam. Yeah. That was when he was, a, that's when he was a sportsman, you know. He was out doing that sport shooting. <laughs> He said, he said, uh, you, or he told that story and he said, cool story, didn't happen. I love when you do that. <laughs> it's the new flashing lie it's for you to say cool story, didn't happen. God, he's such a clown. He is such a fucking clown. Oh, he really is. It just... <laughs> He was like, take me to South Central Jail, not to the regional jail where my family's at or where I've been. Take me to South Central in the middle of Charleston. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> they said, you're not going to the one where your brother and your friends are at. You're going to South Charles. You're going out here to the South Central. And that's where they took his ass. Like he had a choice. <laughs> yeah, like he got to pick. And he's still saying he gets to pick six jurors. Yeah. <laughs> he said, there's no way he can pick six people in Boone County that won't have his back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He's, He's going to put a noose up there. Uh, going to have a Toby. <laughs> Toby will be up there. Yeah. See if we can't get uh, Tyler to come out. You know, they can yeah. let him out of jail to sit on the jury. Maybe he'll uh, let JPEG hold his hand and he'll come up there for him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe Bo, maybe Bo will roll out for it, and they'll just dig up Chig for him. I don't know what the, his brain is eating up like cigarette ashes. <laughs> That's right, please it sure is. Oh my Thank God, you. is who? And he's <laughs> he's really he really was like admitting to snitching. He said the cops yeah. ran that way, and I was like, hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. that's snitching that's snitching does he not understand that oh my god that's crazy he that's even crazy. said you know he, he acted like he had he never did show any never saw any kind of gun which any of those streams you saw him in the background he'd flash yeah. it you know he'd point it at himself or you'd yeah. see it on his side this time he was like and I'll tell you another thing he's like you'll never pry this gun out of my cold dead hands and he's like he reaches over the side and you're like like he just makes a noise. Like, that don't tell me that's a gun. <laughs> Nothing at all about that. That's good. Nothing at all. But you did. He did. Uh, when he left that comment, he left, sent you a picture of Bo that uh, we were going to oh, share. Yeah. <laughs> He's about of jail and they're just sitting around the sink, you know. It's regular. Her arm sure is wrinkled up a lot.
Mm-hmm. It could be Jimmy Rogers. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> How did you get that? Oh god. I don't even want to know. <laughs> Oh, let's look at this thumbnail real quick. Right. <laughs> you know, he even said in that uh, in that dab that, you know, he he said, I'll take my Glock up here to Pittsburgh. He's like, you like Steelers? Okay, bam, you're dead. One less Steelers fan. <laughs> <laughs> and he's allowed probably to do that. Gonna, yeah, yeah, it's probably not going to look good, you know, if somebody shows that to the judge, you know, when he's a, I don't know. <laughs> Brandishing a weapon. Yeah, yeah. It was crazy. That's why I said, you know, my, my client has definitely, you know, learned his lesson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my favorite part, though, is the cool story never happened. <laughs> All right, pull that damn thumbnail back up because right, there is some shit go. going on here. Hags out here washing the windows or some shit. I see a burning building back here behind oh, her. She's outside she's somehow looking in. Mm -hmm. She got her crazy eyes on that chicken for some reason. Then, uh, <laughs> I've left the I've left my desk, but I've left some things there. I've left a, a can of wasp spray. <laughs> left a, a Jordan hat with the gold logo and the sticker still on it there. <laughs> I left my glasses and a lug nut, mm -hmm. a set of teeth, <laughs> and some more lug nuts, a whole bottle of them. A whole bottle. But then it looks like that somebody's left some stuff down here. We got a a happy meal with a cane and an umbrella. <laughs> a shoe shine. A shoe shine box. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if you're trying to kick brownie. You got your own brownie or the hamburger. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I must have been eating that happy meal. And then look, yeah. look at the background there. <laughs> so, oh yeah, there he goes. His squares floating away. I wonder what he's over saying. the city. Yeah, who knows. <laughs> oh, and we got this picture too. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe that. That's on one of those uh, one of those true crime things. Yeah, this guy's a secret genius. Yeah, <laughs> it was like he threw up a, a smoke cloud and he got out the cigarette smoke. <laughs> He was slow, but uh, he escaped through the smoke. He was thick. Look at all those cigarettes on the table. My God. One, two, there's like four or five packs. There's one lit. There's one in his hand. There's one in his mouth. God. A smoking fool right here. Smoke. Look at all the smoke. Apparently he's a secret genius. Where'd you go? Are you there? We got yeah, another one. All I'm right, we got here. another one too here. Uh, let me see which one I want to do first. I think this one. <laughs> Look here, dude. That's when the fucking river got up, dude. It's like hanging down, fucking Banksville, dude. I like I was saying. I was like, Look here. I think there's a wave on the second river. I ain't afraid. But look, uh oh, what's my heart? What is it, dude? It's a big old mud cat. I done called all the catfish out of here. There's not another fucking catfish around here, I guarantee you. I caught them all. Oh, oh my God. Oh, and then I've got this one. Too. Here's this. Uh, in case anybody. Has missed it the past four shows that we've shown it. This is the the text from Iceman. I guess would be it means you're going to have a difficult time eating with your jaw wired shut and have difficulty seeing with your eyelids sewn shut. That's the text that Shane was talking about in the phone call that we played. So yeah, there's that. Uh, let me make sure I got them all. <laughs> I love that picture. <laughs> I absolutely love that picture of you. <laughs> We're going to have a um, a new emoji. I'll have to size it up and load it, but we'll do uh, this one for the members. <laughs> Get that very picture. handsome. Very, very <laughs> handsome. Man right there. <laughs> it's 
still available, ladies, for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Animal Planet and chill. <laughs> oh, God, that's hideous. Oh, my God. All right. We thought we were going to be on here an hour. <clears throat> Barely an hour. We gave him a little bit more than an hour. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I blame that, it on Spokes Tard. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a long time with him. Drag shit out uh, of you. Yeah. But uh yeah, you've got another uh dab you're working on, don't you? Oh god, yeah. Yeah, he went live another two hour stream with a, a little ten minute he did a little ten minute uh shout and like he just went berserk there for about ten minutes. I got that too. He just went live, went crazy for like ten minutes, screamed threw a fit marching around and then he deleted it. Um, <laughs> I don't know uh, how the hell they got that one, but they did. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, Mom bot wants to know who's got a dollar 50. I'm looking to get spit roasted. Come on, people bend me <laughs> over. Mom bot. Come on now. It's a little I'm telling you that Robin was a taker. Yeah. Keep your eye out for Robin and squares chat. <laughs> she was down. She was yeah. spilling the beans on spokesman too. Good. Cloud Patrol said the dabs never end. They never do. They never do. Just when Moses gets caught up on all of Dirty's yeah. lives to get dabs, bam, he goes on these like tangents, like three or four, and then we he's got to get yeah. caught up again. But that's the only yeah. way I watch Turkey. That's the only way I still I got people in my comments today saying, Hey, did you know that he's out of jail? <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> Petey, Petey wants mom bought to know, Mom, you better get your ass back in the closet, damn it. <laughs> Petey, hey, you know what I heard? Uh, you know what I heard about Carolina Rebel? Carolina Rebel, apparently, uh, I don't know. He died. I don't I don't know. Nobody knows. Yeah. Yeah. He's, Who uh, knows? Yeah, he's gone. Rest in peace. That's all I can mm -hmm. say. Yep. <laughs> yep. Wish I had more to report, but he's dead. Uh, there is none. Yeah, he's dead. As uh, I saw, I saw the ghost of Mo in chat, somebody's chat earlier, but uh, I oh, couldn't believe what they were saying because they went, they were going, boo, you know, because yeah. she's a ghost. So you know, there's that. Uh, yeah, they were. They well, weren't. They weren't saved. Their ghosts. Their ghosts are still haunt these streets. For oh a while. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm sure the colonel will still make an appearance every once in a while, but. Oh, yeah. We ain't covering it. We ain't covering it. No. All right. Well, I guess. Well, I guess we're gonna close it out then, Mose. Yeah, uh, I say we close it out. Yeah, it's, tell everybody uh, to have their pets spayed or neutered, especially your goats. Yeah. For God's sake, <laughs> please, please have your goats spayed or neutered. Yeah. Uh, thank y'all for showing up. Thanks to everybody for. Um, the uh cash apps and basically thanks to everybody for the memberships and just and thank y'all for being here and hanging in with us and letting us laugh and cut up and just know that we appreciate every one of y'all but even if it was just me and moses on stream and hag and bleasy in the chat we'd still do it the same exact way so anybody yeah. going back to paint if anybody's going to paint make me out back <laughs> Oh, all right, y'all. Well, you all have a wonderful evening. Uh, Moses, what do you want to tell them? Peace, pot, and pills, and we'll see you on Sunday. All right. Y'all have a good one. Hustle-free checking. Damn it. Man cow in the morning. Shut up. Oh, come on. Oh, you know, what what is yeah, murmur it up, D-bags. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got pancakes back home with syrup on top of them. They're about to hit that critical point of syrup absorption that turns the cakes into a gross paste. And I hate to get all Andy Rooney about it, but I think we all like fluffy discs of cake with syrup on top. And I think we also like to be accused of crimes when there's evidence. So as they say in Canada, 
Peace out.